Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this Christmas card that I created using my Big Shot. Here are the supplies you'll need to gather together at home to make this card. Your Big Shot, your platform, your two standard cutting pads, and the brand new textured impressions embossing folder that's called Snowburst. It's found in the Holiday Mini Catalog. I used my Stocking Builder Punch. For ink, I used white craft pad and basic black classic pad. For stamp sets, I use short and sweet, and I know you're wondering what I'm going to do in life if they ever retire this stamp set because I seem to use it every week. And I also used an image, the snowflake image from Punch Pals. For cardstock, I used Whisper White, Real Red, and Brushed Silver. And along with that, I used the brand new Silver Glimmer Paper. I love this paper. It's so awesome for punching out. And you can also color it. Stay tuned for more information on that. I used my Crystal Effects, my Snail Adhesive, and my Stampin' Dimensionals. I used my paper snips and I used some cherry cobbler baker's twine. All right, I will be back in a moment. I'll clear off my spot and I'll show you how to put this card together. We do want to start off by using the Big Shot and the Snowburst embossing folder, but before you do that on this card, what I would recommend is you take your craft white ink and your snowflake image from the Punch Pal stamp set and stamp your snowflakes all over the brushed silver cardstock and set it aside to dry. Craft White ink takes a little bit longer to dry than normal ink does. Then once you've done that, then bring in your Whisper White layer, the cardstock layer, put it inside the Snowburst embossing folder, and then put it between your two standard cutting pads. Your platform is on tab one and then run it through to emboss the cardstock. Now, my embossing folder is really, it does a really deep impression, so deep that the cardstock has to be almost peeled off. And there you go, you've got that all done and ready to go on the card. Now let me bring the card back in. What I did was I, I adhered the silver cardstock, the brushed silver that was already stamped on, and the snowburst layer. I put those two together and put it on the Whisper White card base. In between, I cut an, a piece of the silver glimmer paper and put that over top of the two layers that come together from the front of the card. And then I punched using scrap real red cardstock a stocking. And this is a really cute stocking, but here's another idea. Let me bring in my punch. I'm going to slide my real red cardstock inside, punch it out, and then just to bump up your card a little bit, let's bring back in the Snowburst embossing folder and let's emboss the stocking as a second idea for your card. I'll show you the difference. I got this idea after I had created the first card and the stocking was cute but it looked kind of plain to me. So you can emboss your stocking with the same snowflake image. If I wanted the raised image my stocking would be in the other direction so you, depending on what direction you want your stocking facing, then you'd have to put it inside the folder the correct way. But that adds another dimension to your stocking. So what I did was I punched two stockings. I used one, I punched one in real red and one in some scrap silver glimmer paper. And then I adhered the silver glimmer paper on top of the red stocking to make the glimmery toe and the heel and the cuff. And then I put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back side of it and layered it onto the stamped Whisper White cardstock, layered that onto a real red piece of cardstock, and then adhered that down to the front of my card. 
And then to complete the stocking, I made a bow on the baker's twine and then adhered it to the glimmer paper using just a drop of crystal effects because crystal effects will help anything stick to anything else. And that's it. This card's very quick and easy to make. You can make several in an afternoon and it will really impress the people that you mail your Christmas cards to this year. So this is one idea for you to consider. For a complete listing of the supplies I used and the measurements for all of the layers, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure that you're a newsletter subscriber. I have a special 12-week edition series of Christmas ideas that have already started, so you won't want to miss out on the remainder of those. I send two other newsletters a month with lots of other project ideas that you'll also get if you join my mailing list which is free, by the way. You can click on the Contact Me button to place an order or ask me a question, or just look through all the other sample ideas I have there. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.